Aging toners or astringents, flip it over. It's got hydroxyl on it. Hydroxycon, hydroxynet, hydroxylin, start to ring a bell. This is the anti-aging molecule. But I wanted to show it to you. This was my first aha moment. When I saw this eight years ago, I went, huh, all water must not be the same. No. Given this, I mean, what do you want to cook in tonight? You know, brush your teeth, wash your face, clean your babies, clean your grandbabies. All water's not the same. This was the first thing that made me go, hmm, I'm open, I'm listening. So that's, that's anti-aging. Well, we're going to measure oxidants and antioxidants. Your body has these 73 trillion cells in your body. They're wrapped around this little aquaporin that protects the cell. There's little ports inside there. Coincidentally, your cells need to get to a negative 50 millivolts to rebound, to heal. Whether that's a hangover, whether that's a headache, whether that's stress or fatigue, or whether that's diabetes, whether that's cancer, or whether you just have the flu, your cells start to rebound at a negative 50. So let me tell you about your antioxidants and oxidants. We can measure them today scientifically in a term called ORP. The ones taking notes, ORP, that's oxidation, reduction, potential. The potential for properties to oxidize or to age or to rust. Some of these properties might be more oxidizing than others. How would you know? Some of these could be harmful to you, but how would you know? Well, we know today, we can measure it. I have an ORP meter, it has one job. It's not an expensive meter, it's a scientist probe, it's not a water meter. It measures oxidants and antioxidants. So this is what you're gonna see today. When I measure a property and it measures a positive number, positive 100, that's an oxidant. It's aging, it's rusting. You may or may not wanna put that in your body. If it measured a positive 200, does this make sense? We're going the wrong way. I measured a positive 300, now we're going off the grid on oxidation. But if I could find a property that measured to zero and then measured to a negative number, a negative five, we're talking about a true antioxidant. Maybe not something that says it on the label or on the bottle, but scientifically measured a true antioxidant. So uh, a, a, negative, a negative 50, that would be a po more powerful antioxidant. Let me give you some antioxidants. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It just happens to be a negative 50 on the ORP scale. And does that make sense when we get the flu? One of the first things we do is grab a bunch of vitamin C? Yes. I mean, people will tell you, you need to grab a bunch of vitamin C and get a bunch of liquids in you. And you're like, okay, no problem. But we never ask, why vitamin C? Oh, that's where the cell starts. Until you get to a negative 50, you're, you're walking backwards. You gotta start at negative 50. You know, some people drink green tea. Yeah. Some people approach it homeopathically when they get sick. They drink green tea and they take vitamin C. Well, let me tell you why they're drinking green tea. Maybe not just any green tea, but a high-quality green tea, mm -hmm. properly steeped, you can get it to like a negative 85. Wow. One and a half times what your cell needs. Now, does that make sense why you want to drink green tea, take vitamin C scientifically? See, I needed it told to me this way. Yeah, sure. If you gave me the science, I'd be like, okay, I, I'm still lost. Oh. You, you may know people who juice. Um... Statistically, it's very expensive. Statistically, we don't stay with juicing. People say, what do you mean? Well, it's just hard to meet somebody who's been juicing for 10 years. <laughs> We've got all sorts of people that juice, but it's hard to meet someone who's been juicing for 10 years. But let me tell you why they juice. You can get to a negative 100. ORP, antioxidant. There's a lot of names for antioxidants. Negatively charged ions, antioxidants. We heard the term electrolytes, same thing. You know, we electrolytes are in Gatorade. Antioxidant, same thing, negatively charged ion, this, this measures them. So if you could get to uh, juicing, it's like a negative 100. See, the higher that negative number, the more powerful of antioxidant it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you could find a negative 200 somewhere on this planet, man, that would be a powerful antioxidant. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. That's, that's two times more powerful than juicing. So the second property I'm going I'm to show you, I'm not going to just tell you, is that this water is alkalized in its very nature. Someone invited you today and probably told you the water was alkaline. I think that's all I knew when I came. I knew I was coming to see water and I knew it was alkaline. I sat in the back of the room and wouldn't know what alkaline only looked like if it hit me in the face. So I'm hoping I'm going to learn what they're talking about. So just in case there's one of you like me that doesn't